Okay. All right, Bundy, time to run. Bundy do kick off, and it's received by the Chargers, and back comes the number 10 for the Chargers. That's Robert Scala. Slow play the ball, 20 metres out centre field. One out ruck here from the Raiders. They're trying to push up the field, but put down a strong tackle by no their early. opposition. Go. Center Go. field still, second tackle gone, and a lost ball early. Oh. Not what you want in the grand final of a start. Step inside in the halfback, Daniel Stiff, for the Bunadine Chargers, for the Bunadine Highlanders. 20 meters in from touch, 20 Go. meters out. Go. They go to the left, and it's centered on. That's Josh Conquest this afternoon. Five Conquests in total, Go. Captain Go. Coach Chris as well. They go to the forwards, combining into a hole, but right, can't get through the line that conquest. He's held 10 metres out. They go right, to the left. Two. Jape, and then go right eventually. Daniel Smith steps off his left and he's right, but he's put Daddy, down by two right Raiders defenders. Right. They're coming to the end of the tackle count. Guys, Three metres out, right hand side of his sticks. Nice face pass again. It'll be the prop ball to try Chris Conquest. Offload right. speculator out the back. Touch, Daddy, referee right. said. Play on. Daddy, and they're right under the post Daddy, here. Four. Shape to the right, square pass, and it's held the left forward. That's Mitch Conquest. He's put down. Last tackle. They go to the right. The front roll with a grubber kick through, and it's just shielded away by the Orange Park Rangers. And they put behind. Be a 20 minute restart, the referee says. They come to the ground. The Orange Park charges, should I say. Go now. Up to the 20. They start this one off. 20 metres out from their own try line. They make it five metres before strong tackle put Lily. down. Centre of the ground. In the green. They're running from right to left on your radio dial. It's a strong run this time by Matt Hines. He's put down on his back. 30 metres out. 20 metres in from the left hand touch line. What can they muster here? Who's going to take the ascendancy in the grand final? Ball playing up. 37 metres out from their own try line. The Chargers, leading for a penalty not coming. They go to the right, cut out pass before squaring up play. The fullback is dangerous, Critchley. Don't let him run into space. 45 metres out, and it's deep in the tackle counter. Juggle before trying to slice through the attack. He can't do so. Smack bang on halfway, they come. Only a few minutes gone here in the grand final. Last tackle, juggle from dummy half. And the referee said it was worse than that. It was a knock on. Ball's fed, they go to the left. In the head giver centre goes in and away, full back, he goes through. And he's put down by the opposition Seven, half back. Him, That's Craig Scala, go, he's put right, down. Dummy half scoop, running across field, looking for numbers, they don't come. And a strong tackle there from the Chargers, ah, driving back to his own 40. Me, go, the Highlanders, go. another cap off the rank. 30 metres out, centre field. They're looking to post first points in the Southern Highlands Shield Grand Final. Drop back on the inside. The prop forward, Matt Conquest. He's put down. The dummy half, Denny, scheming. Takes a dummy half run into the 20, almost to the 10 metre line. And he's eventually put down. 10 metres out centre field. They're going to go to the left, Bunadoon. Two passes wide this time. Conquest off road, perfect pass. And under the sticks, it'll be Bundanoon to open the scoring. And on the grand final of the Southern Highlands grand final, it is Bundaboon who posts first point. A regiment, sorry, a regiment, a regiment of, Highlanders. of uh, Highlanders. And, and they, the day that I'm excited us. about that one. Well, I'm, I'm very excited about that one. Um, can't wait for the, the first grade decider, but then uh, what am I going to do next week? Oh, that's, well, that's the... You can come back here, I'm not sure what rugby league will be on. 20 yeah. metres out, we start off the kickoff. I'll see the uh, under-18s coach uh, for no. Pick and Alex Peters down in the tunnel. No. He came no. for... Um, what do you got, mate? Oh, yeah. It's a strip, the referee's audio says strip. Play on, play on. Play on. Hey, he's changed his mind. Now. 20 metres out is where they'll start this Go. set. Yeah, the only thing the I can charges. think of there is that uh, the referee didn't... Um, didn't hear the touch judges call there, and he's called Martin, play on. He's over all his touch judges, but Warren Park just oh. need to hang on to his ball. They haven't hung on to it One. Uh, for long out. at all today. Yep, just inside the right-hand touch line. Are the charges? Can make it back straight from the outset and post run after points? The Highlanders, the cardinal sin, that incomplete after set. Centering ball, here it comes. And it's with 
the lock forward, James Dillon. He goes within three metres of the line. We're in good position. Stacked out to the left if they can get it there. The Chargers looking to hit back. It goes to the full back. Was that a knock on? Referee said it was knock back. Play on. Ball spills loose eventually. And it'll be a knock on. Weeks has had like a thousand hit ups for Oran Park. But they'll get another chance here. The Chargers off the scrum base. The full back Critchley almost squeezes through defenders. Can't do so. Three metres out. They come towards the sticks. The dummy half barrows. Is he there? No. Within a metre of the line. A metre out from the try line, the Chargers, they're all queuing up for a run. The dummy half squares it, Matt Paul, there he is. Does he put it down? The referee, they're all cheering. That must mean one thing, and they've hit back. The Chargers. He deserved that try too, Matty Paul. He's, um, he's been the best player in this competition over the last uh, three or four weeks, ain't he? Yeah, that's right. Well, if Critchley misses this, you can t go and take his position. The left footer, straight through the post. The touchies raise their flags, and it is six all now in the Highlands Shield Grand Final. The first half was nice and tight like this is, and the second half became a try fest. So uh, it's pretty much whoever hangs onto the ball the most uh, scores the most points. So. Yeah, that's oh, let him go there. Stand uh, there. To, uh, both teams. Go, that's one. right. It's a nice sunny day out there as well. They can throw the ball oh, around, but a nice jolting tackle. Oh, the back there, the back the on him. Stand up, 30. Waiting go, to hurry up run. and go forward. They go to the left. Bullocking run. 30 metres out from their own trial and the charges. They've got to complete hey, points. Hold Heads away. Go, 35 metres out. Go, they come. Two. Scala. That's Off of the back row, it's a try score. Paul, he's up to the 40 metre line. Uh, it's been not the quickest from Bundanu. They're going to have to do better than that on this occasion. Slow play the ball, which will help them. Floating towards halfway, cut out pass. Tap down by Bundanu. They'll get six again. That's right. And that referee audio, of course, brought to you by AWPM Civil. Make sure you go down there and see them. Yeah, not sure um, what Iron Park are thinking there. The, there was uh, two Bundanoon boys go, always in the middle of um, that ball there. He would have been better off just showing and going. Hey, uh, now. Yeah, silly Man. play there, but they got the uh, six again call. Jason Mikolov waits go, a dummy go. half on halfway. One out rucking from the Chargers thus far. That's how they like it. And they're making good yardage Man. as well. Bring down for 15 metres. 40 metres go, out, Mikolov. Hey, this now, time finds now. his 5'8 Barnes. Nice face pass as well. Fellow Lely almost got his way through there. 30 metres out, 20 metres in from touch. Here come the Chargers. They go to the 5'8 Barnes. On for Scala, nice face pass as well. But the pass was just a bit too suspect for the referee, Mitch Asker. Down there, the Rebecca Wait Company, MacArthur Insulation. Remember that name and make sure you sort them out for all your insulation needs. Off the scrum base, the Highlanders have been starved of the ball the last few minutes. The momentum with the Chargers at the moment. As they work it towards the 30 metre line, this is Chris Conquest. Yeah, they're very bunch, the uh, Highlanders too. They are, you can throw a blanket over all of them. Here is the try scorer, and he's back out of a tackle. Two men of the Chargers to get him down. On halfway, they go to the left. Conquest once more, that's his second carry for the set. And that one was better than the first 15 metres he makes. They're 40 metres out in enemy territory now, the Highlanders. Here they come, the lock forward, Mitch Conquest. Replacing Aaron Phelps, who suffered a cheekbone injury I'm last week. That was disappointing. He's Stand missing out. grand final day. Last tackle. The prop forward send it to the sky. It's going to be a challenge here for Critchley. He's not in great position, but he does well eventually. Makes up ground. Held 10 metres out from his own try line. 15 metres in from touch. Taught him everything he knows, uh, young Critchley. So he was never, never going to drop that. That's right. He knows you're all listening, Danny. Ball's played again. Well, he knows that I coached another. him as a junior, so uh, that's that's why I uh, taught him everything he knows. So, error here yeah, from the Chargers, the men in green. Conzo's uh, uh, defending on this um, on our side on the wing. Here they come. Tim Martin tries to step inside. Can't do much more with that. Three tacklers there. Slow play the ball for the Chargers. Yeah, I thought he lost that the uh, play the ball. Nine, keep it quiet. They go to the centre, looking for space in field. He's found it. Right and now. just in the nick of time, Josh Two. Conquest is put down. Dummy half, sees a bit of space, but can't and put it down. No They're beside no the left hand no upright. No knock on as the Chargers no are pleading. They're under the sticks now, no one metre no out again. The front row forward backs his way in and puts it down. That'll be Matt Conquest. And that's a try for the Bundanoon Highlanders. 
it was coming and it was a good try. They were queuing up there. Matt Number Conquest nine, bent the line back and not even three charges could stop him. It must be windy out there because uh, they're wobbling really bad. That's right, swirling in the breeze. Tim Martin, the club's leading goal scorer, adds another two to the tally. Right now it is 12-6, Monday noon over Oran Park. I'm Tony Solano, Mark Dunn with me in commentary as well. We get started once more. Uh, it is a six-point lead for the Bundanoon Highlanders. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody left in uh, Bundanoon. I'm pretty sure they're all here. So, um, yeah, that's right. A nice crowd on the grandstand side. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's so. Yeah, that's right. The wind's out, but that yes, hasn't one. stopped anyone from coming. Dummy half run this time from the 5 eight. That's Sloggett. He's yeah, put down. Really? Trying to milk a penalty there. The referee yes. said it wasn't forthcoming. 30 metres out on second tackle. Good start oh, no, to the set no, for no, Bundanoon. No, no, no. What can they do towards the back end? Go, go. They're operating right in the middle of a ruck. And what better man to do that than the front row right, forward, Chris go, Conquest. Go, go, go. He's put down go. dummy half run. Tim Martin steps through a few lazy markers. Go, go, go. Past go, go. The covering tackle from the go, go. Chargers. They go to the right now. Chris Conquest on last. He kicks go, go. it. Charge down, six again, here they go, Conquest the centre, comes back infield, beats Critchley on the inside, looking for the line, gets there, thank you very much, and that is Conquest, gets it down, and again, 16 points to six, a kick through, charge down, bounced into his lap, and he just did the rest, 20 metre run to the line. 20 metres in from touch, not the preferred side to a right foot kicker, and it's curled away. With the breeze, might have pushed that one beside. Yeah, green stand. So it's good to see uh, both teams have got uh, ball boys here today. And the kick off. That's from the lock. James Dillon again, swirling in the breeze. He's done a great job there, Smith, and sends back a barracking Chris Conquest. Still going. He's up to the 30 metre line, leading the metres yardage by some way you'd imagine. And not to be outdone, his bookend. And his relative Mitch Conquest, as mentioned, one of five in the team. 25 metres out, 35 metres out from their own try line. Ball's cut back on the inside. A good run. Oh, the second roll, that was Scott Shepard on that occasion. Hasn't seen much of the ball thus far. The dummy half gets out. Scheming, that's Denning. He's up to the 30 metre line in enemy territory now. Other Highlanders, he made 60 metres from the ensuing step. Dummy from the 5 8 tries to step through, comes back again. Oh, well, no, couldn't no, hold on to him, Jason Mikulov, but that was a good run from Slogan. Yep. Last tackle over the head. The referee, Daniel Smith, a grubber kick through. Winger and fullback look at each other, but eventually it is the centre, Chikonzo. He's put down five metres out from his own trial line. Let's see if Bunker can keep them down there. Yeah, that's uh, the first time uh, Chikonzo's touched the ball. And off the ensuing play, Critchley's knocked it on. So Bundanoon with a golden opportunity to blow this one right out of the water. The front row of Chris Conquest, but he slammed onto his backside. The lock forward, James Dillon, puts him down. Underneath the sticks, a strong run. And trying to barrack his way through, can't do so in Jersey 20. That's Scotty Shepard. That is Scott Shepard. They go to the left, numbers, here they come. And it'll be a try through the hands. The number 12, Scott Shepard, he's put it down. And all of a sudden, the lead is just getting out of control now. 20 points to six with 15 minutes remaining in the first half. The fullback in the black head gear. Adds another two points for the Bundanoon Highlanders. They lead 22 points to six with 20 points. But they were negative 44. So they've put a few numbers on them, the Bundanoon Highlanders. Yeah, I'll just go back to the um, the first semi-final. And that was juggled between players. Was that a knock-on? Referee said knock forward. Yeah, oh, look, look one like, now. Um, looked like a knock-on there, but um, go, sometimes my eyes deceive me uh, when it comes to uh, go, some going, decisions in the middle. Scott Shepard in the blue head give this afternoon. He's put down. Mitch Conquest this time. Quick play. The ball comes. Martin in a dummy half once more. Daniel Smith drops the ball back on the inside. Here comes a bullocking from row off row. Tim Martin could have passed, had space, but goes himself, wasn't held. And now, big lag right, dolling right, tackle from the pop forward for the Chargers. Yeah, they the Park just not moving up in defence. They're not, there's space and a lot of it. Now, it five minutes in from the left hand touch line, 35 minutes out from the Chargers try line. Bundanoon, they're queuing up now. They go to the right. And it's the prop forward again who puts the ball up in the air. This must be a tactic. Critley lets it bounce. 
but it'll go over the touching goal line, dead, and it'll be a 20 metre restart. So he got away with that one. You wouldn't let it bounce too often. No, especially not with that uh, that wind out there. But uh, let's see what uh, Oren Park can do here with the second seven tackle set. They'll appreciate that. First cab off the rank. That's Scala. He's put down by two defenders. 25 metres out from his own try line. Centre field, the charges. They've got to get themselves back into this game. They trail 22 points to six. I'm Tony Salerno. Matt Dunning commentary for you this afternoon. It's grand final day. As a shift to the left, he makes 15 metres. It was a good run by Jake Barnes. Eventually put down 42 metres out from his own try line. Good metres. Here comes the centre. And he meets the front rower. Almost two worlds colliding there. That was Hines. Yeah, two, two 6XL jerseys colliding there together. That's right. Bang, kaboom, whatever you want to call it. That's what it was. James Dillon off low. Once he was put down in a tackle, Critchley now trying to find a few lazy yeah, the, uh, the former barber, uh, Critchley, uh, finding the ball there. He's now a bricklayer. So he's gone from... Um, Cutting hair to um, laying bricks. Big, big career, change. Dennis Hillier. He wouldn't be happy with their performance so far in this first half. But as we saw in Mittagong the other week, uh, they were down by a couple of tries and they came back uh, and we ended up nearly all at full time. Just a quest from the scrum base. He's go, held 45 one. metres out from his own try line. Right was a marker, there, square there. at marker. He, the referee said he was OK. No play the ball and eventually penalty. The referee wasn't going to take a lot more of that. Just trying to hold down and slow down the play, Danny, because they're under pressure. Yeah, that's 3-0, uh, the penalties to the Highlanders. Of course, make sure you're looking at our Group 6 League Live for any of the updates that come through today. Of course, we've got Grand Final Day. This is the Southern oh, Highlands oh, Shield oh, Grand oh, Final. Bundanoon Highlanders oh, playing the Oran Park Chargers. Up to the 30, Bundanoon. They hold a 16-point advantage. Centre field, 30 metres out. They go to the left. Here it comes through Conquest, cutting through two defenders before being put down, down by Paul and another. Go, they go to the right this time, switching the focal point of attack. Martin, hospital pass there, didn't appreciate that one acting, but he got it. And now he's put down. They go to the right, skinny short side, back at the angle. He did this for the first try, Conquest, and he's caught. The marker's offside, the referee telling them to get out of there. Will they take the shot for goal? I don't believe so. Right, right. No, they'll roll on here, it, it, not when you um, so many points in front. The floodgates may open pretty soon. They're now backed into the oh, line, offload available, didn't choose to take it. Yeah, well, and floodgates. now that's Granger, and he's knocked on from okay. dummy half, just as you were about to say, the floodgates are didn't open. come. Uh, he was doing the reverse rain uh, dance, hoping that it would just stay sunny. Did he tell you he was like a kid on uh, Christmas morning this morning? Yeah, he told me that in his phone call as yes, well. So, was, uh, yeah. Up very early, couldn't wait for Green Ball. Yeah, that's go, right. Go. He's not the only one. Here's Chikonzo, the centre. A big bullocking centre as well, trying to get through a few bumper Highlander defenders. The Chargers going from left to right here. They've got space on the left if they can use it. Up to the 40, they come centre field. About to have a change here for the uh, Oran Park side. Number 17, Long Bay Stevens is on. And a knock on again from the Chargers. 40 metres out is where this scrum will pay down. They go to the right. A few headgears out there. Here's another. The centre. Martin. Isaac Martin. Tim Martin playing fullback this afternoon for Bundadoon. Steps back on the inside. And he's put down. Looking for options. Continue to go left. Shepard with the arm free. Good enough low though. 20 metres out, 20 metres in from touch. Can they make them play again? The Highlanders. Backs. Conquest. Hurl 10 metres out. Right inside of the uprights. They continue down the left. Martin steps inside. Nice footwork. Trying to cover oh, it down over the black dot. But he's only two That's points away. They go right. Enterprising play here from Bunnadoon Highlanders. Rubber put through. Right, but of course, referee's audio. We do appreciate it. And that comes to us from AWPM Civil. Good hit up there from uh, Long Bay Stevens. That's right. He's been driven back after he was held. Referee wouldn't have liked that. And now they're swarming in numbers here, the Highlanders. That's a strong tackle. They're only 22 metres out. They're going nowhere fast. Other charges. Dummy half run. Everyone overread the dummy. 
but he makes some ground oh, there, Jason Mikolov. Over the 30 now, center field they come. Got to get themselves back into this game. Attempted 40-20, but it goes straight down the center of the field. So that didn't accomplish what he was after. Tim Martin beats the first one. Can he beat the second? Coming in cover. That was to the 40 now, center of the field. They go to the right. Bundanoon, oh, we approach the Don't final six up. minutes of the go. first half. Go. On halfway is where they're going to operate from here. 15 metre run from Shepard and even further now. Kieran Stevens working oh, with another no, no. to put him down. 35 That's metres out go. from opposition try line here. Bundanoon looking to extend their lead even further. And a penalty to boot as well. They've just got too much momentum and too much run around the rock, Dunny. Yeah, that's 5-0 five, five the penalties. Yeah, that's right, and they've earned each one of them. Ready for a tap. Granger, he's decided to have a shot for goal. Long Park haven't used the wind to their advantage either. Um, they've got a howling wind behind them, and they haven't used that at all. In Martin shoots. And they like it, the touchies. That's an extra two points for Bundanoon. They lead 24-6. It's going to script at the moment. Bundanoon leading Oren Park. 24 points of six. Dylan gets us restarted. It's a long kickoff, dangerously close to the dead ball line. But Granger receives and sends back his front row on that conquest. Beats one, and then a bullet for oh, his second oh, charge. Now. He's full oh, of running the forwards. Go. They're getting over the advantage line quite easily. Granger this time Six. takes a dummy half scoop. Did that get some assistance? Yes, it did, said the referee. Strip on Granger, took a dummy half run, and the temptation was there. Loose carry, though, Danny, that was a tough call. Yeah, I'm not sure there. I'm pretty sure that I heard through the uh, referee's audio, lost ball. Yeah, that's what he said in his audio. Of course, thank you for AWPM Civil. So it's not my ears. It's not your ears. I heard that as well. So changing that one on the fly. Touch fine. That doesn't fine. Touch, though. That could be costly. And Critchley watches it bounce past him. Didn't get enough angle on the kick. Tried to bite off a bit more than he could chew. And loses possession entirely. So that penalty gets rendered redundant for the Bundanoon Highlanders. Paul gets through the first wave of the fence. Can't get through the second. They've just got to get it right to the uh, right here. The Bundanoon's got nobody out there. That's right. Their defence is between the 20 metre and from touches. So the charges, they can't get any roll on those slow play the ball. They've been down there for an age. The referee said it's okay though. They come to the right. The halfback squares the ball up for Dylan. Nice pass and he just enters the opposition half. They continue up the ground and made about 30 metres from this set. And they'll continue to do that. Last tackle, referee has his arm up. What can the Chargers do? They trail by 18 Go points, three converted now. tries. They need something Go quickly. Send it to the sky, the half back off the left foot. And it's taken. He didn't look comfortable under it, but eventually taken by Conquest. He's put down Go. 10 metres out from his own try line. Dummy half run. Here comes Martin. Put him down for 15 metres. 20 metres in from the left hand touch line. 20 metres out. A spin, nice run too. That's Martin, Isaac Martin. If the referee said that was very good as well. Appreciate the plaudits. Granger in at dummy half, replacing the starting hooker, Denny. And he's got his back eventually. Dominant tackle there from the Oren Park Rangers. Play down in back play though. Conquest, the front row this time. Just before the halfway line, Granger. It's in the hands of Smith, doesn't get the purchase on the kick that he would have liked, but it's bouncing all around and Critchley waddling all over it eventually gets into his grasp. And now eventually they've called the player down in back play. That's Jason Nicolaf down there, clutching at his stomach. And now he's over with the trainer attending to him. Yeah, well it is his uh, wedding anniversary, so I haven't given him any. One minute 48 left on the John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers scoreboard. I'm Tony Salerno, Matt Dunn, and with you as well. That's in the first half remaining. Hard charges. Another cab off the rank. That's Matt Paul this time. 35 metres out from his own try line. Release now! Down. Centre of the field they come. Nice chip over the top here. Looking for a bounce. Gets a few good ones. And doesn't get covered in time. Now Bundanoon. And a knock on from the Chargers as they try and capitalise. 
Good cross field kick, well weighted. Three converted tries is a long road back. With your scrum feed for the charges, 20 metres out. They go from left to right. Critchley tries to step past his opposite number, can't do so. And eventually put down by Noel. Hasn't seen much of the ball, but what he's done with it has been quality. Slow play, the ball coming. 20 metres in from touch, 10 metres out. They go to the right. Critchley again can't keep his hands off the ball. And he's put down the fullback five metres out this time. They're going to do well to hold Bundanoon. The Chargers, they had space on the left side and they go to the right. The pop forward is he held up just an inch shy of the try line. Slow play the ball to the field. They're stacked on the open left if they come that way. Mikkel off the dummy half weights. Eventually goes to Barnes. Now on, they decided to take a settle and offload. Grab a kick through, knocked on by Bundanoon though. And that'll just be enough. Out of time, the Chargers, they have the momentum to finish the first half, but they'll go into the sheds, three tries adrift. At half time, it is Bundanoon 24, leading the Orange Park Chargers 6. Oh, the sand, the wet sand castle. I miss those. Kickoff comes, it's held in the breeze, and eventually taken by Sloggett, steps off his right foot and into two defenders, almost curled through the defensive line. He would have enjoyed that. 30 metres out from his own try line. Shepard scored one of the tries in Jersey 20. And the blue hit here to boot. 38 metres away. 20 metre runs both times to start this set. They would have liked that. Offload from the hooker. Now they're up towards the halfway line. Lock forward put down for Mitch Conquest. On for Shepard now, that's another run for him in this set. Doesn't shirk any work, does Shepard, and now he's over the halfway line. Centre field, they come in the blue, the Bundanoon Highlanders. Ball kicked and over the head of Chikonzo, touch finder. 20 metres in from the left hand touch line, that's where we'll start this set. Yeah, I thought, um, I did read somewhere that uh, this is the first ever grand final for both of these teams. Yeah, that's right. So they're thrilled to be on the big occasion. Who's going to get the chocolates? Was that knocked down? Referee said it was. 20 metre scrum this time. So they've advanced 10 metres and now it's another scrum. Scala. They pass two passes wide. That's Barnes. Now on for Chikonzo. What can he do with ball in hand? Yeah, very distinctive uh, hairstyle for Chikonzo. You can pick him out a mile away with that, uh, that hairdo. Yeah, that's right. The bright orange, would you call them grey, to just frills. I'm not the best hairdresser, but I know a good hairstyle when I see one. Yeah, well, um, uh, if you've been listening over the final series, uh, I'd like to give uh, hairdressers and barbers a good rap because uh, I don't mind a good haircut. I like a haircut for the... Uh, Number 11 for uh, Bundanoon as well. Quite achiever, Scala, nice uh, pass Aiden, Aiden on for Dylan. He's got a good, uh, he's got a good hairdo. Now short side, the kick. So across his body and taken Tim Martin there. Steps past the chaser. And now eventually put down 40 metres out from his own try line. Hang on, he's going two sideways, almost over the touchline, but just manages to stay in. Now to another Martin, this time Isaac. Yeah, he's only advanced at two metres. Better urgency here from Iron Park to start uh, this, this set. They, they just know need they need to turn it around, but this man has been so good when he's been carving the ball up. I'm talking about Chris Conquest, the bald-headed Chris Conquest. And he's the back rower, Adam Swanson. And that's that head, head dress you mentioned. 40 metres out from the Iron Park Chargers. Try line, and then they're just held down too long, giving away a penalty. And in disgust, Swanson throws a ball at the player. Referee tries to put out any fire before it starts. Yeah, pretty sure that's 7-0 uh, now, the penalties. That's just amazing. 7-0, the penalties. But they're all holding down. They're trying to slow down the ruck. Trying to get a bit of momentum, the charges. But they can't get back into the game. No, they just um, need to play footy. Um, that's the best way to get back into the game is to play footy. 24-6, 30 minutes remaining in the Southern Highland Shield Grand Final. I'm Tony Salerno, Mark Dunn with you in commentary as well. Now it's going to be a set start, tap restart. Shepard, first cab off the rank, beats a would-be tackler. And he's put down 15 metres out from his own try line beside the left-hand uprights. Here comes Conquest again, runs across field before straightening. And that's Kieran Stevens who puts him down with company. Yeah, distinctive head on uh, Stevens. Dummy half run, trying to catch the markers, napping a spin from the hooker. Does he put it down on the black dot? Referee said he was inches away. 
Dummy half on, slapped at the ball. Play on. Six again, to the referee. Conquest to look forward this time. Right beside the left hand upright. Can they extend their lean, the Highlanders? The halfback Smith steps, scurries. Looking for options, arm free, ball bubbles out. How did it come out? The referee said it was fine. Eventually put down the burn and tackle there. Bundanoon looking to put it right out of reach for the charges. Ball slapped out from Hooker. Referee said it was a knock on. Six, Bundanoon over Oren Park. And our scoreboard, thanks to John Stonham and co lawyers, they're at Queen Street in Campbelltown. There's a 15 minute obligation for your appointment, so make sure you take that up at the John Stonham and co lawyers. Yeah, good defence there from uh, the Highlanders driving the uh, Oren Park charge back. Chikonzo. The, the Oren Park players, you can throw a blanket over them. You can't get a roll on Chikonzo. Now only 10 metres out after the second tackle, the charges. Here comes Kieran Stevens trying to send the direction north. Offload. They're getting numbers into tackles though, Bundanoon, and slowing down the play of the ball. Yeah, if I was on Park, I'd probably try a short kick over the top. The, uh, the Bundanoon fullback is uh, what, 10, 20, 30, nearly 40 metres away from where the play is. Hines so makes short it, kick in over the top. Hines makes it to the 20. They decide to come open side. Looking for options and backing his way in. That's Paul on that occasion. Up to the 30 now. And knock on. So they can't get any momentum out of their own end. Back into this game. They've just got to um, respect it. The halfback Smith feeds the scrum. It'll be first receiver Martin. Shows it twice before going across field. A gap opens up for Martin. He'll hit for the corner and gets there too. Try the Bundanoon Highlanders. 28-6 now, referee looking at his touches, Ian Rack said 28-6, and that may just be enough to push them towards their first grand final. Post on the far side, and the wind will bring it back around. Let's see if he does that, it's a low bug, that doesn't make the distance though, and tries to trickle, and eventually makes it to the post, but no goal for Martin, he's done all the great work, good on the burn on that occasion. 28-6. The Bundanoon Highlanders leading the Oran Park Chargers. Week in, week out, rugby league, simple game of rugby league. It's, um, you know, it's a simple game. Ball's kicked off by Dylan, up into the sky, swirling. Smith underneath it, but then lets it bounce. Luckily, yeah, it went it? to Conquest. Beats one, almost a second, held by a bootlace. Quick play of the ball as well. Bundanoon, they had a roll on there, but the ball went behind everyone. Yeah, Scott Dylan Shepard. Hit. Bit of a hint there for the uh, teams later in the day. Um, the halfback lost that ball uh, in the sun. So there's a little bit of a hint for the uh, teams coming up. And a shepherd's been called as well, working him out of their own end, Bundanoon. So it'll be a penalty for the Chargers. They needed this dearly. They'll start this set 20 metres out from the opposition trial line. Can they post points? They need them desperately. Mikola for dummy half. Has options left and right, decides to scoot himself inside the 10, but it's three Highlanders to put him down. And now, just cautioning the referee that he may be injured, he fell awkwardly there as well in the tackle, landed underneath a few Highlander players. Yeah, I did hear something through the referee's microphone there from um, from Jason, and uh, yeah, it didn't. A bit of a sledging in his audio, thanks to AWPM Civil. Barnes at first receiver, tries to jink and step his way through, but Conquest said he's not going through that easily. Mikalef at hooker again, goes himself and dives for the line. Was he there? Onto his back and just a metre out from the try line. Barnes at dummy half, goes to Dylan. The ball's on for Paul now. And he's within one metre beside the right hand upright. Last tackle for the Chargers. Can they put points on the board? Dylan puts a grubber kick through off the first Bundaberg player and then comes through eventually, stripped out. A referee just adjudicating now. That nice break um, without mouth and off, so we could see someone in the bin before the end of this game. Here comes Chris Conquest as well. Always beats his first man, Kieran Stevens, over the top there and just gave him a bit of a how you going. Yep, and Kieran Stevens being caught out as well. So he put Conquest on his backside. So your man, Long Bay Stevens, has been penalised for a shoulder charge. Bit of a harsh call, but they'll get a piggyback out of here again. He hasn't, even, he hasn't even got any shoulders, um, Long Bay. So I don't know how he got pinged for a shoulder charge. So restart again, Matt Conquest this time. 
towards the half. Help! Go, one. Centre field. Now there's a gap that's opened up in the midfield. Stevens almost caught out of position there. We're almost up to halfway. Arbundanoon. Conquest once more. This is of the Chris variety. Trying to wrestle with the hooker Mikolov. Eventually he's pinned down. Gets some help from, from, from some friends. Mikolov as well. Scott Shepard waiting for a first receiver, but he's put it down. Coming to the defence, had a bit of a peek, and he surrendered possession. Phillips, who was injured, he had a cheekbone injury last week, which meant he missed the grand final, the lock for the side. So he'll probably be no doubt he watching on as his team's closing in on a big victory in the club's history. Because it could be the biggest one, one of the biggest ones for Bundanoon. Yeah, well, um, with 22 minutes remaining, and they're up by. Uh, 22 points, I can't really see them. Um, and off the next run, a yeah, we've got a uh, over the horizontal spear here. tackle, almost a spear tackle. Scott Shepard, the offender on the back of Mikolov, he's copped, a, copped a hide in his second half as Jason Mikolov. So, penalty, you know, just trying to make his way to his feet. Of course, the referee audio thanks to AWPM Civil. Yeah, it's always good uh, listening to uh, what the referees have to say. Uh, we thank to uh, the Referees Association for letting us uh, do that as well. That's right. They do a good job, the referees. It's a hard job out there, but they've got to manage expectation. They've got to manage the players out on the field as well. So Jack Barnes in the black headgear, just getting ready to kick out and find the line. Oren Park. Receive the penalty, desperately running out of time. If there is a glimmer of hope, it'll need a, it'll need to get legs here as they enter into halfway. It wasn't, wasn't the prettiest touch finder, but it got yeah, there eventually. That was a bit like uh, Mike's uh, driver off the uh, second tee. That was terrible. Yeah, it went about 20 metres, so that's about right. <laughs> so tap restart from Jason Nicholas. And Matty Paul has another hit up again. Strong run too, but he was accommodated there by Scott Shepard. Yeah, that hurt, that stung him too. Yep. 20 metres. Out from the try line. Arva charges of Oren Park. Now some jolting defence here from Bundanoon. They're causing some hassle. Sports radio. So yeah, as I said, Oren Park um, just need to hang on to this ball. Um, just complete a few sets, get a little bit of confidence uh, back. Robert Scala plays it for Mikolov. On for Barnes, drops the ball back on the inside. Fayeli hasn't seen too much of the ball this afternoon. That was a strong run there, but he stopped in his tracks. Mikolov waits at dummy half once more. Goes to Barnes, who's first receiver. On for Critchley, here comes a move. Kieran Stevens on the outside, trying to get past one. And then eventually they swarm on him. Smith and Conquest, the tacklers on that occasion. 15 metres out, 20 metres in from touch. Square ball, nice run too. Daniel Barnes put on his back. He hasn't seen much football this afternoon. Begging for a penalty is Mikolov, not forthcoming. Last tackle, Barnes. Rubber kick through, off legs, and into the backfield. Comes Conquest, a lock forward for Bundanoon. Yeah, it's well picked up there by um, uh, one of the Conquest boys, yeah, Mitchell, I think it was. Mitch Conquest. Here comes Isaac Martin in the grey headgear. Scott Shepard swarmed out of a line. Did Jason Mikolov didn't make great first up contact. He bounced out of that one. They're 35 metres out from their own try line now. Are the Highlanders. Up to the 45 metre line they come. Mikolov always part of the defensive line. He's done a lot of tackles this afternoon. Martin puts a kick through between winger and fullback. He's chasing hard. The fullback for the Highlanders. Can he trap him in the end goal? Critchley's got work to do. Off load. That was dangerous. And it was a forward pass, was it? It was a forward pass. Yeah, well, Brain explosion. You can't be offside in your own end goal, so I'm uh, not sure. Uh, what the call was there from um, the touchdown. It, it, it was a forward pass. I understand pass. he's called a forward pass, but you can't be off solid in your own goal, so should have been play on. And that's what was just said in the referee's audio as well. Can't be offside in the in goal. So I believe goal line dropout's going to be the adjudication. Yeah, well, we've got to go with uh, what they say, the, um, the men in pink. Their, um, their decisions always count. That's right. So it'll be a dropout. 
Tim Martin, though. Great effort. The fullback, he's really injecting himself at key moments, and he's really taken the game by the scruff of the neck. Yeah, he's played well today, uh, young Martin. It's hard to pick a bad player for um, London Inn. They've all played well today. Drop kick they've, from Dylan. They rise along the ground. Rise for the meters. occasion. They do. And back comes one of those men who have done just that. Mitch Conquest, 25 metres out, and a spear tackle again, and it's caused a bit of a fray as well. We'll just pick up what the referee says. He's just trying to separate the players. We'll get his decision on what's happening now. Get ready to start. Keep working. 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 And he's been marched. He's been sent to the sin bin. Okay, I told you earlier, there were two more penalties, and I was going to put someone down. Okay? Yeah, that is what's happening before we have outside. I have to know who's going to be out. Okay? I know it's the first defense, but it's going to be two more. Okay? That's it. So he's a scapegoat for a lot of indiscretions of that nature. And now, yeah, as if they needed it, right? they're down to 12, the Oran Park charges. So this could turn very ugly very quickly. It isn't one of them. Surely you'll have to start now. Shot is successful. It was right behind the right-hand goalpost, 20 metres out, and he's put it through. So that's 30 points to six. Bundanoon Highlanders over the Oran Park Rangers. Trees. Yeah, so let's Just hope. A bit too bad. I'm in the trees too much. Yeah, let's hope the uh, the charges can um, come back here. As we see a mistake here. From the it kick was off kickoff was drilled at the back row of Swanson. He could have left it. It would have gone out on the full, but instead he's knocked it on and it's gone out of play. So fortune favours the brave, I guess, on that occasion, and it'll be a 20 metre scrum. No, well, it's um, you know, the credit to Warren Park. It's their first year in the competition, and. Uh, They've made a grand final in their first year, but uh, unfortunately today's not going to be their day. Off the scrum base, passes wide, Scala Barnes, then eventually goes to the prop forward. Now a run back on the angle. They've done that well this afternoon, the Chargers. The limited times they've done it. Here's Mikolev, decides to continue down the short side, finds the number eight, and he's wrong. Brad Mole, he scored five tries this year. Could have made it six, just unable to do so. Slow play the ball again. It was. Voltua, a dummy half, tries his own luck. But he's held by four defenders and put down five metres out from the try line. Critchley, a dummy half, waits, goes to the left, Scala, steps back on the inside. But eventually they come and they swarm him. Mikolov, they've got numbers on the left, that's where they go. Barnes, Dylan, but they've called one of the passes forward. It was Barnes to Dylan. It was suspect, but the referee said it was worse than that. Yeah, that's right. So it's a turnover. And Scott Shepard gets the Iron Park welcoming committee, and they drive him back five metres. So the touchdown's just telling Chikonzo it was a mile forward. <laughs> yeah, right. So Conquest, left. Arm um, tucked with the ball inside. Only makes it to the 20 metre line. The defence is doing much better in the second half for Oren Park. Dummy steps off his right foot, slog it. Can only get to the 30. Wants a quick roll on here. Can they go? Goes for Conquest. Matt this time. Off one player a second. Gets rid of Hines. Tim Martin. They go to the right. They've got numbers here. Here's Chris Conquest. Steps back through Barnes. Tries to fend off the forward. Stripped. Was it okay? The referee said there was two in the tackle though. So Kieran Stevens tried some innovation, pulled the ball free to get it to his advantage, but there was two tacklers, there was already a man on him. And now they'll start it from the 40 metre line. At the end of the set, they'll have a very attacking play, you would imagine. Tap restart, that's Denning. He's put down 20 metres out from the Oran Park try line. 20 metres in from touch. What have they got now, Granger. Goes one cap off the rank. Here comes Chris Conquest. 
backing his way through. Three defenders, Foreign Park. Slow play of the ball. Center of the field, they go to the open left. Had a chance to put it inside Slogger, but didn't. Now they put down 12 meters out. Under noon, looking to add to their tally. Slogger down the short side, goes himself. Two meters out from the try line now. Granger in the headgear in the 14 at hooker. He goes for a scurry, tries to spin around and put it down. But he's held up. Good tackle there from Dylan. Last tackle, the referee's arm goes up. They're five metres in from touch. The open right's where they come. Tries to put it through the fullback. That accidental offside is what the call will be. He grubbed it through off one on park player into another who was in front of the first offender. So it will be a play of the ball for Bundanoon. And they will take the opportunity to take it back to the 10 metre line. 12 minutes remaining. We've gone back to uh, mini mod. We've had a changeover. Uh, that should have been a scrum. Uh, accidental offside. Uh, it's international football. Uh, should have been a scrum. Tom Atreid, he's put down five metres out. They go to the right here. Bundanoon, Granger. No wonder he's not regularly first receiver. He got crunched in a tackle and put down. Ten metres out from their own try line. The Oran Park charges, and it's been too much of the same story much of the afternoon. That's an enterprising run this time from Scala. He's put down, they can't get a roll on, slow play of the ball. They're ready to come in our line and meet in the charges and that's what happened. Matt Conquest got on the end of Hines, he threw it out the back. Luckily Mikulov was there but he got the same treatment. Put on all his back again, squashed Mikulov. He just got uh, smashed by uh, Matthew Conquest. That's right. He'll be he can't wait to see the back of Conquest. You'll feel that tonight. That's right, Critchley takes the next run, but too many backs wherever forwards to help out. Here comes Dylan, he enters the corner, lock forward, and bends the line back as well. Gets to the 40, where's the dummy half, comes eventually. Into the hands of first receiver, Scala. Shaped to put on the left hand foot, but couldn't do so. And he gets to halfway, last tackle. Oren Park, they've made 40 metres, one of their better sets this second half. Critchley skews it off the boot, not sure if that was genius. And now taken into the hands of the winger. Stevens doesn't even want to touch him. Not yeah, well, interested um, in a voluntary tackle. Yeah, it should have been a penalty. Tim Martin on the end of a good shoulder from Barnes as well. The defence has picked up in intensity this last five minutes. Yeah, 30 to, to Bundanoon 30, Iron Park 6 for MacArthur Insulations with uh, 10 minutes remaining. 10 minutes to go on the Stoneham and Co clock. Up to halfway they come this time, Bundanoon. Go behind the rampaging prop forward and now slog it. Not afraid to step off and take on the defence to 5 8. He's very brave. Now they're looking down the short side, over the side to come open. Daniel Smith on last, puts a banana bender up and taken nicely by Critchley. Caesar, mixed bag of defenders waiting for him. Makes it 22 metres out from his own trial. And remember all these games will be on YouTube tomorrow, so make sure you take a look at those as well. Now in Jersey 11. Build. Here comes Critchley again, the fullback. Was that a flop coming on last? The referee said it was okay. He's done that a few times this afternoon. Down a skinny short side chip over the top from Mikulov. Chasing is the winger again. He's been the target much of the afternoon. And put down eventually. So they've picked up a cheap 25 metres. Have orange charges. They go to the left. There's numbers out there if they can get it there. But Jaconzo decides to take a settler. And they're in the centre of the field. Here we 15 see, uh... metres out. They'll go left, dummy. Jake Barnes. And he kicked it, and then it ends innocuously. They had a good idea, just the execution was very poor. And now 10 metres out from their own trial line is where Bundanoon will find themselves with the footy. Yeah, my hard-earned player over the last few weeks, Matty Paul, just coming back on for uh, Oran Park Chargers. And they need him as well. Provides a lot of punch there, the number 12 for the Oran Park Chargers. He's been good for much of the season. Dummy half scurry. Gets behind, sends Stevens swirling behind play and he's clutching at his arm as well. Oh, yeah. I think that first up contact really hurt him. It's his left shoulder that's gone near. Now the ball we played, we resume play on the 40 metre line on Bundanoon's side of halfway. Of course Bundanoon running from right to left on your radio dial. Oren Park from left to right. 
Ball's put down between ringer and full back. And towards the end goal, he got it one metre out from his own end goal, Critchley. Does well not to be forced back inside. Five metres out from his own try line. Five metres in from touch. Chaconzo, dummy half run. Hasn't been able to build up a head of steam this afternoon. Very slow to get back on side here, the uh, um, park side. They are. It'll be another. It'll be the winger this time. Who almost gets nestled there. That's James Rimmon. Yeah, and the uh, Simbian player has returned, so they're back to 13. That's right, and into the backfield goes Paul. He makes an easy 15 metres. That was a good run. One of the few line breaks today made by Oren Park. Critchley tries to match him. Offload, Dylan into the backfield. Dylan's still with it. He's made 30 metres up to the 40 metre line. Offload, and it's two passes wide now. Here's the halfback, Scala. Play still on. He's running out of room, though. But stays in stride, does he? They get there and push him into touch. Great scrambling defence by Bundamoon. It was a good play straight through. Dylan linked up with the halfback and then eventually tried to stay in but just ran out of room. Yeah, not sure where uh, that play's been for the last 63 minutes for the uh, Iron Park side, but that, that was very enterprising uh, from Iron Park. Uh, maybe they needed to do that uh, earlier in the game. That's right. That's You took the words out of my mouth. Where's that been? They haven't been able to string passes like that together. It's been a lot of one-out stuff, slow play the balls, and Bunda Nunes has been eating it up. So, I mean... Bundy have been really good, but Oren Park just hasn't been able to do that often enough, and that's why they trail by four converted tries. Yeah, well, um, uh, as I said earlier in the call, um, both these teams, it's their first ever grand final, so, um, you know, it's going to be a new winner, and um, I can't see Bundanoon getting beat from here. If Bundanoon get beat from here, I will run down to Bundanoon from Campbelltown in my knee, Keeney. Oh, wow, okay. Come on, Oran Park Rangers. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a hefty effort. Five minutes, 52 uh, on the clock. Ready? It's Nothing's ever impossible, but this just might be. So up comes yeah, Scott I'm Shepard. 30 I'm minutes pretty sure with uh, five minutes, 40 on the clock, you're down by uh, 24. Not even uh, the great uh, Cronulla Sharks can uh, get out of this one. We'll leave that one well alone. They had their own issues last week. According to them, it wasn't their fault. Up to the up to oh, halfway. Don't Scott even go Shepard. there. They go to the left. Here we go. I like getting Dunny riled up. Tim Martin over into and enemy territory. Down. They're 35 metres out from the They even start on line. Badger's performance last week. And a knock on the Southern Highlands shield. About to go the way of Bundy. Now Paul off the scrum base. He's the world's biggest 5'8", and he's put down 41 metres out from his own try line. Well, he's actually vice-captain of the uh, inside private eye squad, Matty Paul. Let's have a fun fact as they go over halfway. Yeah, the, uh, obviously the um, picked and first grade halfback in Timmy Dengate, he's the um, captain of the inside private eyes, and uh, Matty Paul, vice-president of inside private eyes. And the players right, on the bench. Right, yeah, I think they're, um, there ah. could be a party in Bundan End tonight. Yeah, that's right. Get me a ticket. Tim Martin on for Conquest. Yeah, Hospital right, pass, right, though, right. and he was taken straight away. It was a one-on-one -on -one steal you in the process, I believe. Yep. Oh, and they've conceded it over. So dummy half scurry. That's Denning. He oh, makes 10 metres. Right. Granger waits at oh, dummy half, so they're playing two hookers right. on the field. Scott Shepard in the blue headgear scored the first try of oh, the grand right, final. Right. He's up to the 30 go, metre line. Go. They go to the right this time. They've had success here. Drops the ball back on the inside. Here comes Conquest. Tries to pass through traffic. Ball bounces down and gets it back yeah. again. Um, Thilmy have been out there for almost an hour warming up. Uh, Picton's been out there for 10 minutes. So we'll see if that has any effect on the two teams uh, when they uh, actually kick off at 12.30. That's right, 12.30, that game will start, so it'll be right on time. We'll get James Preston in the chair to call that one for you. Up to the 40-metre line on second tackle, right on the left-hand touch line. They come back up, Kieran Paul. He's always there to put the ball into his hands and start a good run. Barnes, on for Dillon. They're good with numbers here. Uh, Oran Park charges over halfway. They come now. Brad Mole put down after a nice 10 metre run. Yeah, Shade to go short side when open. A different team when they uh, throw the ball around Oran Park. We just haven't seen enough of it this grand final day. Ball's played by Critchley. And a penalty, a last tackle penalty as well. You have to move away. Just lying on last play, Mikolov. 
It's deliberating. He's going to kick for line or tap it. The ladder is the option. Here comes Paul again. Runs straight at the hooker, Denning. Denning done a mountain of work to approach the three-minute mark remaining in this game. It's a good run to Voatua. He's put down 25 minutes out from his own try line now. The men in green looking for a consolation try, something from their effort. Dylan back on the angle, nice crash ball too. And he's put down underneath the sticks, 15 metres out from the try line. The Rangers go to the left, Scala on for Barnes, drop back on the inside, ball floated across the field and eventually knocked on, turned over and Granger for Bundaberg, Bunda, Bundy there to pick it up. Back in the middle of the field, the referee saying only two and a half to go, that's what it says on the John Stoneham and Co. Lawyers clock. Nice dummy half runs here from Bundanoon, that's all they have to do to get him to the siren. To hold up their first Southern Highland Shield. And here comes that Shepherd. He's put down in the blue head here. Just wondering whether uh, someone will get the bag pods here. Oh, I'd be nice to see. For the uh, for the Highlanders. Offload. Here's Granger scheming around the ruck. Makes a nice 5 metre, 10 metre run now. Offload Martin. Finds Conquest with the full back. Offloaded. Here's Conquest again this time. Mitch spinning around. Looking for the right direction on the compass offload has the arm free doesn't use it and now they are two meters away they go to the left here it comes from mitch conquest bounces off one tackle another it puts it down try time for bundanoon they add to their tally once more 34 points to six with a kick to come one minute 39 remaining and surely that's the icing on the cake again well tim martin we're looking to punch through, he does that, and it goes through, and that's a goal converted there, 36-6, Bundanoon over Oren Park, 24 seconds remaining on the clock, as Dunny mentioned, they may struggle to get the kickoff, they might get it in just, but it's been a comprehensive performance from Bundy. Yeah, well no one's come back with a footy, I oh, know there's the footy, uh, interesting to see whether they uh, are they going to kick off? They are. Dylan's going to go quick. It'll be a short kick off as well. Only goes 10 metres. And there's the siren. It has been decided. Jumping for joy are Bundy. They are the 2017 Southern Highland Shield champions. They've defeated Oren Park 36 points to 6 here at Campbelltown Sports Stadium. We'll take a break and get more from Campbelltown Sports Ground shortly. Well, uh, Tim's told me he doesn't 
these speeches, he wants to say well the highlight for uh, Chris Conquest, the captain of the Premiers. Thank you. 